Hey there, sign of cancer. My name is Kim, and I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I appreciate all of you very much, and um, sending you much love and light for doing that. If you want a private reading, check out the description box below, and you'll find out how to do that. That's through donation, so, so that everybody can get a reading if they want one. Let's see. Let's get you some of these archetype cards to start off your reading. Kind of give us an overall energy for this. Whenever you find this reading, it's probably the appropriate time to watch it. But I always just put next 48 because it's kind of like, it's just an update. If you would have, whichever one you feel drawn to, it's probably the one that was meant for you. The ring and the vision. Okay, Cancer, nice. Let's do one more. The Bardo. Wow, okay, so I feel like this is um, a vision, obviously, a vision. It's, that's our main issue is what you are doing that's gonna lead you to the top of your peak performance. Um, it's, it's drawn to a connection with the eternal and the spirit realm, the Bardo being like the home that we go to in between these, you know, material like reincarnations. And I think the vision is something that maybe you even work on in the spirit realm, like in the Bardo. And then here it's, it's, it's like infinitely looping. Something about what you do that has been done before and has mastered many skills. That's why it comes so easy to you. Cancer, this is great. This could be about receiving a ring, um, like for marriage or something. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. My, like, ponytail bun thing must be actually really high today. <laughs> All right, so, so that's what I'm getting from that, guys. I'm really not getting any much more except for this is your vision. This is about your vision. There's something loving, spiritual, and eternal about that. We're going to use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot to do a small spread. And then we'll probably draw some more oracle cards. And then wrap this up for you. So you can go about your day or night whenever you see this. Okay, four cancers, greater good spirit, and thank you. What is the issue? The issue for cancer? The magician. I said the issue is about creating. I think it's about creating this manifestation, your vision. There's the magician having everything at his disposal that he needs. You know, he has a snake, but it looks like he also has a bird that can maybe get the snake if <laughs> if it bothers him. We have the wands with the sunflowers, the knife on the side, and the cups represented by the bale. Lots of symbolism in her decks. Lots of symbolism. So if you have trouble figuring things out, perfect deck for you. All right, the challenge. Eight of blades. Okay, either getting out of your head or getting away from a stressful situation is what I see here in this card. Um, this person feels really like, it's almost like they're feeling kind of um, crazy. <laughs> crazy because of all of the responsibilities that they have that ties them down. Now, I know that's not traditionally how Eight of Swords is, but I think this is being triggered by stress. Um, kind of like the Ten of Wands, but th that's that's just what I'm getting from that. All right, past position. Past position is the Knight of Swords, so it's some kind of um, big change coming in. It's represented on the card by a person getting bangs, and I don't know if she's looking like she enjoys that. So maybe there was some uncomfortable change in the recent past. Recent future is the lover's card. Great. So if you haven't met somebody, this is probably it. Or this is celebrating a partnership that's really healthy and it's been working. Could be with a Gemini. You kind of have kind of an immature character around a, that's an air sign. This is Spirit's Advice. So five of blades. Stay out of the conflict. Stay out of the conflict. Stay, stay away from knives. <laughs> no, just, just stay away from the conflict because it's not going to be worth it. Make good decisions. Stay out of stuff like that. One more card for spirit advice. Two of cups. Yeah, look at that. Two of cups, the lovers. It's just saying, again, if you're looking for this kind of relationship or partnership that's harmonious, joyous, loving, 
it's coming no matter what it what it represents because it is general but it is coming and that's twice that it's been pointed out to you so we're creating something or creating something and everything's going to manifest perfectly expect a partner somebody to help you on this journey okay wisdom of the oracle i saw the mending card i don't know what that's about for someone no place like home card orphaned community deep knowing time for a nap and TikTok. All right, so so yeah, I mean, there's a lot that kind of makes sense. In the past, we have the orphaned card. I feel like that's you not fitting in with a situation in the past, and that might be why this change came about, was because this contrast that you maybe didn't like. Um, this is not fitting in either career or romance. There's something about this um, girl right here that just makes her feel like she's on the outside. Maybe even five of pentacles, like abandoned feeling. Community is, that's what you're trying to, um, you know, create or manifest with the magician. If that's what you're trying to do, either this group of people are going to help you or this is truly the manifestation itself, having a lot of support and jo joining like a new group. These two cards are polar opposite. So they're, they're on both ends. They are the duality. This is fitting in. This is not fitting in. Then there is this deep knowing you're going to have a vision of a partnership. Like I said, if it is a vision like to do with career and you're not partnering up with anybody, this might be partnership with divine or spirit. There is a deep knowing. It's like a, the Gnostic feeling. Uh, if you look up the different types of empaths, one of them is just having deep knowings and it's a little bit tricky to figure out if it's your energy or if somebody else, you know, somebody else is putting it there as part of your talent. So I think that's what that's about. You might want to look into the different type of empaths. Um, Five of Blades and the Bardo. All right. And then time for a nap. So give it a rest. Just like I said, um, Five of Swords, don't jump into the conflicts. It's not worth it. And there's even more recommendation to give something a rest. And I think it's the fighting and the arguing. The Two of Cups and the TikTok. Something is about divine timing. And that, that divine timing is about to be coming up. Okay. All right. So I hope you really enjoyed your reading, Cancer. Thank you for joining me, guys. I know it's just short and sweet. But have a nice day. And sending you much love and light. Bye-bye.